I'm Insomniac, and this is AK Espresso from Black Rifle Coffee Company. Alright, so here we are with AK Espresso. This was sent in by Mike Metropolis. Big shout out to Mike. And just like all their other packaging, very simple but very cool. Of course, you have an AK-47 on the front. Got all kinds of guns on the sides. Definitely digging that, that's pretty cool. The black and gold thing is pretty cool too. I definitely like their packaging. The back doesn't make any sense because it says tasting notes and then it says Colombian Supremo Roasted Dark, the indestructible espresso. Uh, those aren't tasting notes. Not even close. Best method for brew, any. All right, let's get into the coffee here. This is whole bean. So you can see there, nice looking roast. First aroma I get out of the bag is a nice milk chocolate. Chocolate bars and more chocolate. It's actually a really nice kind of spice that you get out of the aroma here. It reminds me mostly of red pepper, a little bit of citrus, specifically lemon skin. It kind of smells like if you were to smell a lemon before you peel it. Fight me. And there's a really nice aroma of wafer cones, you know, like the ones you would use for ice cream. And a little bit of red bean. So, a lot of aromas out of the bag. That smells pretty good. But anybody who buys a bag of coffee isn't going to spend their time with their nose in the bag. They're going to roast the stuff, so why don't we do that? Alright, so we got the AK Espresso brewed up. See what it smells like. Way different than in the bag. The first aroma is a smoky baked bean flavor. Baked beans. Then there's a scent that kind of reminds me of warm rubber, specifically like warm rubber hoses, like under the hood of your car. Pop the hood. And there's a good salted caramel aroma, and then a natural sugary sweetness. So that's a really odd combination of aromas. Alright, let's see what it tastes like. Actually, some smoky baked bean. There's a bit of a kind of warm apple cider. That's a pretty unique and pretty cool flavor. Definitely some earthiness. Uh, and then there is a really interesting starchy finish. Pretty uncommon in my experience, but it kind of leaves the type of mouthfeel that you would get if you were eating mashed potatoes. There's no mashed potato flavor in here, but that's the kind of mouthfeel you get. You get a kind of finish that reminds you of like a starchy potato. At the same time, that finish is pretty smooth, so not necessarily a complaint, just uh, pretty odd. Then there's a small, bright, very quick kind of bitterness on the finish. Uh, it's not very strong and it doesn't last very long. It's kind of just like here and gone, but there is a tiny bit of bitterness there. Overall, it's very smooth, very unique. I actually think that combination of flavors that I'm getting is uh, not only pretty good, but definitely not your typical cookie cutter espresso. That's that's pretty cool, I like that. That's very unique. Enjoying the overall profile. Pretty good stuff. If I were gonna rate this on a scale from one to 10 Mike Tyson's, I'd give it an eight. Pretty good stuff. If you've had AK Espresso, which I'm sure that lots of you have, uh, leave a comment, tell me about your experience with it. Let me know if you love it, hate it, if this review sucked, do you love the review? If you want to support this channel and you'd like a chance to win coffee or cigars every month, you can go to the link at the top of the video description, sign up at the Patreon page, that would be a big help. And yeah, I'll see you all at the next one.